breaking my fucking nail and twisting my arm. That's that's what they like to do. And size again. That's what that's what you people are good for. That's what you people are good for. I see citizens. Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. It's your girl Azine Williams. How are you all doing? Hope you guys are good. Hope you guys are fine. If you're new to this channel, kindly click on the subscription button. Click on the notification bell to let you know whenever I post any new video. Okay guys, so a lot has been happening with your ex Big Brother Niger housemates and also ex Big Brother Titan housemates. And honestly, it's not any good news, honestly. Because, I mean, we had one being robbed, the other one is kids kidnappers yes guys like very real this is not a movie or nollywood anything and the other one being harassed by the police and i'm talking about the ladies fina angel and yvonne yes guys so um a day or two ago yvonne posted this on her instagram story you know showing blood on her toes and saying how she was robbed in south africa now when i got this gist obviously i was not having it because i mean things are bad enough and when you hear gist like that it unsettles you yes guys and you all know yvonne has been having the time of her life in south africa with her boo juicy j they celebrated valentine's together even before valentine's they've been having the time of their life now imagine her coming out with this kind of gist obviously a lot of her fans were really disturbed everybody wanted to know if she was okay what is happening with her and all of that well we are happy to report that she's actually doing fine but i mean she was a victim of robbery in South Africa. Now, what actually hurt me most was the fact that when this gist came out, like a lot of you guys were just saying, oh, that um, it, she was robbed by Nigerians in South Africa. And I'm like, something bad has happened to somebody. And all you could think of is saying that, oh, it's her Nigerian brothers in South Africa that did it. Like, I think at some point we should know when to stop. Honestly, like making statements like that on the blogs, it just doesn't make any sense. Like, it just, like when I saw it, I was really pissed. Like, somebody had just reported something bad happening to the person. And the only thing you can think of is to bring out your very hateful side to tell me that it's so, 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 so country that did it. When you actually don't have the facts or neither have you the police report to back up whatever claim you're having. Like, we should do better. Now, from Yvonne, let's go over to Angel. So today, Angel came on live, obviously shaking. I think she came on live briefly twice, and we were all shocked. I think what got me in this whole thing was seeing the way Angel was. She was visibly shaking, you know, and later on, she posted this video on her Instagram story, showing her broken nail and telling us how the police people twisted her up. Listen to her. Breaking my fucking nail and twisting my arm. That's that's what they like to do. And size again. That's what that's what you people are good for. That's what you people are good for. I see citizens. Yes, guys. So that was Angel. Like I could feel the pain she was feeling from a mile away. Like you all know, if you're a person that has fixed your nails or you fix your nails, you know how when that nail gets broken, you know you know how it feels. I've been there before, so I can understand her pain. And I'm happy that she's actually fine, but a lot of us her fans were really shaken by this. Like, what is happening? Like, what is happening? This is not the first time an ex Big Brother Niger housemate is coming out, you know, going on live because of such a thing. Um, I think it was year 2000, and I think 2020, 2021, we had Kaisha and Lucy, you know, do that video where they were being harassed by the police, you know, and it was at night. Um, like just last year, Fina put out came out online, you know, almost the same situation, just that has, there was not really any physical contact at all. Now we have Angel and Summer, and the way Angel was talking, you could see that she was obviously, there was a physical stuff going on there. And it's actually great that her lawyer was contacted and everything is calm now. We actually do not have all the facts, you know, to what exactly transpired between her and the police people but from what she put out she said that she was being you know harassed by them but whichever one we await you know um the official statement by the nigerian police 
because I know definitely they'll put out a statement because I mean, yeah, it's a celebrity they are talking about here. But whichever one, we are sure happy that Angel and Soma are doing great at the moment. Yes, guys, now from one tragedy to another. Well, I wouldn't call it a tragedy, I would call it an escape. Yes, guys. So the Big Brother Niger female winner, the second female winner, and this is the second winner of Big Brother Niger, Fina, escapes being kidnapped today. Yes. It's not a Hollywood movie, guys. Like, this is happening in real time, in real life. A few moments ago, Fina came out and tweeted this. She said, did we just escape a kidnap with this whole emoji and said, I'm shaking. Now, when I saw it, I'm like, what? This cannot be a joke. I went on her Instagram story. She said, oh, more, no, be small thing my eyes see just now. She also said, I'm shaking. And I'm like... No, this can't be for real. Like, different bad things like this cannot be happening in one day. What exactly happened? Well, she put out this tweet and said, um, so I got to Delta State today, G-I-G. We were moving in convoy, and suddenly one of the cars drifted off the road, which led to a very minor accident. So we all had to stop to see what can be done. But since it was getting late, two of the cars, including the one I'm in, decided to continue the journey. Um, on our saw we drive go front, four cars to the one I was in. I just, they look kidnapped. They carried them out of their cars and left both cars empty in the middle of the road. See, the way cars were turning and riding one way back, or more, I just, they shiver. See, yeah, I'm just going to say this. Big Brother Niger or no, the insecurity in the country is alarming. The rate of kidnaps is really, really alarming. And... We just have to thank God for her life. But then again, not just thanking God for the life of Fina, wondering the, 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 the situation, what will be happening to those that were taken. Like, many, like when I read this, honestly, a lot of things were running through my head. I'm like, what if that car did not have a minor accident? I mean, it would have been her car in front. And I'm not even saying this because of, oh, it's Fina, thank God she's safe. What about the other people? See, yeah, be brother or not. I think at this point, the various agencies responsible for keeping people safe in the country should better, like, we should wake up. This is one story too many. A lot of people have been saying this. The roads are not safe anymore. I keep asking myself, why is that? Why didn't she fly? I mean, she could have just, you know, flown like GIG. I know it's a very good transport company, but then, you know, whenever I hear somebody say, oh, they are, ha um, they are traveling by road in Nigeria at the moment, I'm just like, ha, ha. Like my close friends will tell you, they can't even tell me now that, oh, isn't it? I'm traveling and it's by road. No, they can't even do that because they know the moment you do that, you set me up on a panic mode. I just can't. I, I, would, I would definitely just be restless till I find out that you are safe. That's how bad it is. I, I'm not going to sit here and sugarcoat things and tell you that everything is all good. No, it's not. It's scary. It's really, really scary. We thank God for Fina's life, but then what about those ones that could not escape? It's really a sad situation, guys. It's really a sad situation. I think this is a time for, you know, the security agencies should do better. I know they are trying, but mm, it's, it's really a sad, sad situation. You all be safe out there. I think that's the only thing I'm going to say at the end of this video. You all be safe out there. You know, make sure you say your prayers. I don't care whatever religion you are, you belong to say your prayers like going out and coming back is a privilege that we have for so long taken for granted it's not supposed to be so but that's what the situation we find ourselves into now let's all be careful you know um keep praying you know at the end of the day Sha, our lives are in the hands of god and i pray Nothing of such will happen to any one of us. Like, it's really, really a sad situation. Yes, on one hand, I'm grateful that she's safe. On the other hand, I'm now wondering what would happen to those that weren't that lucky. And imagine witnessing that in real time. If you've never witnessed something as traumatic as that, you honestly would not understand. It's really crazy. 
thank you guys so very much for being part of my channel if you have not yet subscribed please click on the subscription button click on the notification bell to let you know whenever i post any new video and please make sure to like share and comment until i come your way again i remain your darling girl azine williams have yourself a beautiful wonderful day ahead